Redmi K20 was not really very well received after its launch because at the price tag of 22,000 rupees, people thought that this device with Snapdragon 730 processor is overpriced. That's why there were multiple petitions to reduce the pricing of Redmi K20. I'm not going to say that Xiaomi reduced the pricing because of that petition, but Xiaomi surely did reduce the pricing and the device is available for 20,000 rupees only. This is for the base variant, which looks fantastic. Uh, because at the price of 20,000 rupees, you're not only getting AMOLED screen, a triple camera setup, a pop-up camera, a display without a notch, fast charging support with 4000mAh battery and most importantly, a Snapdragon 730 processor. And I guess that's it for the review. You can go ahead and buy the device from the link which is present in the description box below. Let's talk about in detail here. First of all, let's start with the AMOLED screen. As this is AMOLED, always on display is supposed to be there and that is present. OnePlus, take some notes. Add it, 20,000 rupees ka device hai, fir bhi hai, OnePlus 70 still does not have always on display. Viewing angles are fantastic, outdoor visibility is great, maximum brightness is also fantastic. No complaints with the display as such. As the device comes with a pop-up camera, we do not have any type of notch on the device and that makes it look really different. At the price of 20,000 rupees, uh, I feel like this is one of the best looking devices when it comes to build quality as well. It looks fantastic. Gorilla Glass 5 in the front as well as in the back. Uh, Gorilla Glass does not mean that it is scratch resistant. Use the case which is provided in the box and add a screen protector if you do not want any type of scratches on your device. When it comes to fingerprint sensor performance, the device comes with in-display fingerprint sensor. I, if I keep my finger like this, I'll keep it over here and the device gets unlocked pretty quickly. One of the fastest fingerprint sensors for sure, OnePlus 70 or OnePlus 7 still leads it. Uh, but overall, the fingerprint sensor performance has improved over the years and over the years, Bapre, over the software updates that he has received. The device is running on MIUI 11 based on Android Pie, no Android 10 as of now, but I'm sure it will receive the software update pretty soon. When it comes to software performance with the Snapdragon 730 combined with MIUI 11 or MIUI 10, the performance was always fantastic and is still fantastic. Multitasking between apps, opening applications, switching between them has no issues whatsoever. Let it be uh, multitasking with two applications at the same time or PUBG gameplay, which is locked at smooth and ultra setting will give you constant 40 FPS. Snapdragon 730 is like third the uh, fastest processor in Snapdragon family as of shooting this video. Still no smooth and extreme option is little bit disappointing. But overall PUBG gameplay performance and day to day life usage was fantastic. No issues over there. When it comes to the triple camera setup, this is how the 2X lens looks normal camera and ultra wide angle camera obviously there is little bit of color shifting which is nothing new redmi note 8 pro has it as well as oneplus 70 and 70 pro have it if you need something which does not shift colors get the iphone 11 that will look fantastic overall camera performance of redmi k20 was very good at the time of launch and it's very good even now wide one l1 certification on the redmi k20 is little bit weird even though it's there it only works with Netflix. Prime Video does not support HD or full HD playback as of now. 4000 mAh battery will get you through a day without any issues. 18 watt fast charging is supported and the 18 watt fast charger is pre-included in the box itself. And just in case, if I did not stress it enough, Snapdragon 730 is one of the best processors when it comes to performance. So performance is something which you do not need to worry about at least with the Redmi K20. USB type C port is present, not just that, Headphone jack is also present when it comes to headphone jack quality and the speaker quality. It's fantastic earpiece also becomes sufficiently loud. So calling is not an issue. Dual 4G, dual voltage supported on the device. When it comes to PUBG gameplay performance, as I said, the device will perform good. But there were multi-touch issues earlier when the device was launched, like uh, when Robin was using the Redmi K20, he faced few issues. But now uh, the multi-touch issues are gone. So probably with software updates, the device has become better. MIUI is known to show a lot of ads and uh, with the Redmi K20, Xiaomi said that Redmi K20 and K20 Pro will not have that many ads and that's the case. At least it's much less as compared to Redmi Note 8 Pro and Xiaomi knows that MIUI is equal to ad UI is becoming people's opinion now. So they are going to add multiple options like a single option basically not multiple options to disable all the ads all together which is presenting Chinese beta as of now. I hope it will make its way through to global ROM pretty soon. And I guess that's pretty much it for the review of Redmi K20. This device looks fantastic, performs great at the price of 20,000 rupees. 
the only competition that I can think of is the Realme XT because it also comes with AMOLED screen. If you're confused between Redmi Note 8 Pro or this device, if you need higher storage, then go with Note 8 Pro. Otherwise, Redmi K20 looks like a very good choice if Snapdragon processor is something which matters to you. When it comes to comparison with Realme XT, Snapdragon 712 against Snapdragon 730. Once again, Snapdragon 730 with the Redmi K20 will perform better as compared to Snapdragon 712. With day-to-day -day usage, I feel like both of them are very close to each other. It's up to you. If you want to buy this device, then the direct link is present in the description box below. If you still have any more doubts, suggestions, or queries regarding this device, don't forget to let me know about that in the comment section box below. I'll be more than glad to answer your queries. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and press the bell icon so that you will get notified next time I upload a video like this one. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.